In the sport of parasailing, a person is attached to a rope being pulled by a boat while hanging from a parachute-like sail. A rider is towed at a constant speed by a rope that is at an angle of 19 degrees from horizontal. The tension in the rope is 1500 Newton. The force of the sail on the rider is 30 degrees from horizontal. What is the weight of the rider? Here, the rider is in equilibrium. Okay. The forces acting on him are, one is the tension in the rope, another one is the force from the parachute. Okay. But the rope and the parachute are inclined at different angles. The parachute is at 30 degrees from the horizontal, above the horizontal, whereas the rope is making an angle 19 degrees above the horizontal. But the tension force is acting vertically, um, not vertically, acting at an angle uh, with the horizontal downward direction. Okay. And then the weight obviously acts vertically downwards. You now the person, as the person is in equilibrium, all the forces are balanced. Okay, there is no acceleration at all. Now, let us write the forces. This is F and this is angle 30 degrees. Okay, so therefore, this is F cos theta. This is Fx is equal to F cos theta, F cos 30 degrees. And then this is Fy. And Fy is equal to F sine 30 degrees. And then this is the angle 19 degrees made by the rope with the horizontal. And the, yeah, this is 19 degrees. This is again 19 degrees. Okay. And the tension is acting in this direction like this. So this is the tension. Tx is equal to T cos 19. Okay. And then the downward side, Ty. Okay. And then Ty is equal to T sine 19 degrees. Okay. And then this is your W, weight of the writer. Now we have to write the forces. We have to equate the forces. As the object is in equilibrium, sigma fx is equal to 0. Okay. Here fx means in the forces along the horizontal direction. Here, the force, uh, x component force of the parachute balances the x component force of the tension. So therefore, Tx, uh, fx minus Tx is equal to 0. Okay. Fx minus Tx is equal to 0. Here, what is fx? fx is equal to f cos 30. f cos 30 is equal to t cos 19. And t is given as 1500 newtons. Therefore, f is equal to 1500 cos 19 divided by cos 30 degrees. That gives a value of 1637.73 newtons. Now we have to write down the y direction forces. Sigma Fy is equal to 0. What are the y direction forces? Fy upwards minus Ty minus W is equal to 0. Therefore, W is equal to F sine 30 minus T sine 19 degrees. Okay. F is equal to 1637.73 times sine 30 degrees. Or I will write sine 30 actual value. Sine 30 is 0 0.5. Okay. I will substitute that in 0 0.5 minus uh, 1500 into sine 19. Um, I will check the sine 19 value also. Just a moment. 19 sine is 
Therefore, W is equal to, when we simplify this one, we get a value of 330.51 newtons. Okay. This is the answer for this question. Hope this helps. Thank you. Bye-bye.